Ms. I'm sorry, Ms. Clark. Thank you, Madam Chairwoman, and thank you to all the witnesses for being here today. I just want to echo the, the comments of some of my colleagues about um, just how horrifying it is to watch what happened and to underscore that we are not powerless to act and we haven't been powerless, but we have failed our students, we have failed our teachers by not acting to reduce gun violence in this country. School massacres are not freedom. Shooting children and their teachers in their classrooms is not some extension of a constitutional right. We have to do better and we will. I wanna to talk to you about an, another issue that is, is facing our country and will not allow us to recover and address this teacher shortage issue fully if we don't tackle the lack of childcare. And when we look at early educators, the median hourly wage in this country is $12.24, not enough to raise a family on. And one third of Head Start um, positions are unfilled citing compensation as the number one reason why uh, they are not taking those jobs. So my question um, for Ms. Weingarten, and it is good to see you, is can you speak to why a reliable childcare system and the availability of childcare benefits is an important tool for teacher recruitment and retention and how, as we are working to raise compensation and benefits for teachers, we can also focus on early educators and why that is so important. So thank you, Representative Clark. I just also wanna say, you know, I grew up in a system with the Taylor Law. We, were, we did not have the right to strike. Um, the right to strike should only be a last resort. It should never be a first resort. It should only be a last resort. And that's what most teachers do. And I just wanted to make it clear um, that, you know, what, what, what I would have said to that answer. In terms of childcare, one of the things that all of you were working on in the child tax credit, child care, is how do we actually, in, you know, America, reduce the costs for families so that people can actually um, do the kind of work deal with the kind of things that they want to do. You know, unfortunately in America, if you're, you know, if you have a, you know, if, if you're wealthy enough, um, you, you know, childcare is not an issue. Um, if you're not, childcare is a huge issue. And so, so that's an issue with, you know, with when you have jobs that are anything, you know, outside of being an investment banker or a, you know, equity manager or things like that. So, um, incoming jobs for a teacher, whether it's 60, you know, the, the, the 50 to 60,000 that you see in Baltimore, or it's the, you know, sub, um, sub, sub standard wages in, in, in early childhood. If you don't have childcare, how is some going to be able to do that? And so it is how you drive down these costs in, in Europe, in Western Europe, there's a package of, of, of things that happen for workers so that they don't have to think about paying for that that way. They don't have to think about health care. They don't have to think about child care. They don't have to think about retirement security. They just live on those kind of wages. So cutting costs, whether it be student debt costs or whether it be child care costs, are hugely important. Thank you for that. And uh, to Ms. Carver Thomas, um, I also want to ask, as, as we are looking at trying to increase our amount of um, teachers and early educators so that we can help solve this childcare crisis and have the robust public schools that we want, what are you seeing as some of the key barriers that are keeping interested students from entering the teaching profession? Thank you. Um, I would say that one of the key barriers is affordability of comprehensive preparation. Um, we know that student debt um, has increased um, in the past several years, and yet 
um, are programs that are designed to help um, college students afford those um, costs, like the TEACH grant, um, has, have not been um, substantially um, updated by Congress um, uh, since 2008. Um, and so those barriers are even higher for uh, potential teachers of color who um, research shows are more sensitive to um, debt and, and potential wages. Thank you so much. I see my time has expired. I yield back. 